you will now see the client is added under assigned clients. Do the same for the other clients. Your clients should be able to have a dynamic IP address without the need to edit the network settings. How to set up Multipoint Server 2012 clients without a router. Let's start. Open Multipoint Manager. Go to Users. If there are existing student or standard users, delete all users. Then, click Add User Account. Name your user account. Then, add a password and confirm the password. When done, click Next. In the level of access, select Standard User. When done, click on Next. Then click Finish. If you need more clients to add, just follow the same steps to add all of them. In this tutorial, I have four student clients added. Next, open DHCP. If there is no DHCP, open Server Manager. Next, click Add Roles and Features. Then, click Next. Then, click Next again. Click another Next. Under Roles, check the HCP server. Then click Add Features. Then click Continue. When done, click Next. Click Next again. Click another Next. Then click Install. Wait for the installation to finish. When done, click Close. Open DHCP again. Under DHCP, click your server. Right-click IPv4. Then click New Scope. Click Next. Name your scope with any name you like. When done, click Next. In the IP address range, type the following. When done, click Next again. In Add Exclusions, just leave it and click Next. In least duration, set the days to 999. When done, click Next. In Configure DHCP options, just leave it and click Next again. In the Rotor Default Gateway, type the following. When done, click Add. Then click Next again. Then click another Next. Next and next, then finish. Next, right-click scope, and go to properties. Click the DNS tab and select dynamically update. Then, click apply. Next, go to advanced tab. Select both, then change limited to unlimited. Then click apply, and click OK. Now, right-click your Ethernet connection and click open network, sharing center. Click Ethernet. Then click Properties. Next, select Internet Protocol version 4. Then click Properties. Select Use the following IP address. Then, type the following. When done, click OK. Then click Close. Wait for the active network to be connected. When done, close the Network Sharing Center. Next, open Multipoint Manager. Then click on Network Stations. You should be able to see there your added clients. Next, select a client by checking it and then click on Clear Assignment. Do the same to all the other clients. 
After clearing the assignments, select a client again and click on Assign to this server. In Do you want to assign this client to this server, just click on Yes. Wait for the process to finish. When done, you will now see the client is added under Assigned Clients. Do the same for the other clients. Your clients should be able to have a dynamic IP address without the need to edit the network settings. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe. If you have a question, just comment below. Thank you.